Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to clip number 20 of this month of Ramadan. In this clip, we're going to highlight a particular part of the story of Musa alayhi salam. The story of Musa had many ups and downs, but there were certain moments that were more critical compared to the other moments in the story of Musa alayhi salam. And one of those moments is when Musa has left the people of Fir'aun and the kingdom of Fir'aun, and he's gone out in the desert. And of course, we know from the Quran that he had actually been moving towards the city of Madian. And this is where he's going to meet, of course, another prophet of God by the name of Shu'ayb. And the Quran says that in these moments where Musa really had no one to take care of him, think about him as a homeless person. He, in reality, he has no shelter, he has home, no home, he has no refuge, he has nowhere to go. And he doesn't even know what his future holds. So the Quran says he came to the well and he helped out, you know, essentially these women. And then when he was done, he just raised his hands. He said, Rabbi, and this is verse 24 from Surah Qasas. Rabbi inni lima anzalta ilayya min khayrin faqeer. Oh Allah, I am in need of any goodness that you can send my way. Any type of favor that you can do for me. Because he's really completely desperate at this point. He doesn't even know where he's going to go. All he did know though, was that these women coming and waiting for water, it's not the right thing. That's the only thing he knew. He only knew that him standing by the well and all of these men coming and taking their water first and these two women having to wait after everybody else because they don't have another man with them, he knew this was wrong. And this is exactly what created a future for Musa. From this one small deed, this good deed that he did, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the doors to him, got him a family, got him a job, and then later on he became a prophet through this whole process, right? And this goes to show that we are to never underestimate any good deed that we do. Because you never know that this one good deed that you do, what type of blessings Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you with because of it. And multiple narrations of us tell us this as well, that you are never to underestimate any particular good deed. There are times where there is a good deed, you can do it, and you just think to yourself, well, what good is this going to do to me, right? What benefit does it have? And you never know. Maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you heavily through that one good deed. Musa is sitting here, no home, no refuge, nothing to do, not, nothing to work with really. And he's saying, oh Allah, I need any type of help you can send me. And yet somehow, some way, that one good deed that he did then became the door from which he was given his career, his family, and everything else. That is an important lesson for all of us, inshallah.